at somebody's school. What many would consider gross, this biologist sees as a gold mine. Carleton University professor Myron Smith researches fungi and bacteria and how they can be used to develop new drugs. It's a pressing need because the world's medicine cabinet is shrinking. We have fallen behind in the race to develop new strategies and new compounds to inhibit pathogens. Climate change, development, and overharvesting are wiping out ecosystems and all the information they hold. Saving endangered animals and plants is the goal of COP15 in Montreal. Humanity has become a weapon of mass extinction. It's a cost ecologist Jeremy Kerr believes is impossible to measure because of all the potential still hiding. How crucial are plants when it comes to the discovery of new drugs? 40% of the drugs that are on our shelves right now, maybe as much as 50% of the drugs, come from plants. And scientists have only studied 15% of all plant species for their pharmaceutical benefits. We are removing drugs from our shelves that might give us cures to things that are incredibly important. Researchers warn they're particularly important with the rise of antibiotic resistant bugs and also habitat loss, which is forcing disease-carrying animals closer to humans and increasing the chances of another pandemic. We don't really know what's coming at us in the future, and we probably want to hedge our bets a little bit and make sure that we have everything available that we might need. Smith believes the best way to be prepared is to protect the world's greatest lab, nature. Taria Isri, Global News, Ottawa.